What's up guys? So today's video has been a long waited video uh, and I am super excited. We're all loaded up. Truck's running. Stay tuned. So the time has come. We are back at Hot Wired Customs and we are going to start wiring this thing. It is the last, should be the last step before getting this thing on the track and iron out all the all the bugs. Uh, big shout out to Ron Wright. He's the owner of Hot Wired Customs. Here. There you go. He has a Facebook page. Go like him on Facebook. And give him a call with any wiring needs. If you're in the Kansas City, Missouri area or close, or if you want to drive 10 hours, whatever, <laughs> just give them a call. So, but I want to show a couple of these vehicles in this shop. It's kind of really cool. So this thing is really sweet. This is a Bronco. Yeah. Dune buggy or a buggy Bronco 302. I don't know. I think it's really cool. Kind of been checking it out since we got here. Old school Corvette. And you got another truck. A Chevy truck or? Yeah, 53 Chevy. 53 Chevy. Up on lift. So yeah, it's got a lot of cool stuff in here. So, uh, wiring isn't that uh, exciting in my opinion. So we'll just bring you guys back whenever we actually make a little bit of progress. Before we do that, let me show you what's going in this thing. So we are running Terminator X. Um, and as any of you that know that Terminator X doesn't have that many inputs and outputs, we actually are using their input output uh, module so we can add some more. Um, 6.8 Pro Dash. And I think we're also going to integrate the shift light that came with the kit. So, let me show you. We did get the harness for this car, the two valve harness. Let me show you real quick. Uh, I got popped this hood, so I'll bring it back. So, there's the two valve harness. We are going to use the stock coils for time being. I do have uh, some. They're not LS coils, but, you know, similar. Um, smart coils, or... I don't even think it's called smart coils. Anyway, we got some coils for it, uh, if we ever need them at that point. But for now, just to iron out all the bugs, we are going to use the stock coils. Um, but, yeah, I mean, this thing's pretty simple. It is going back in there. Now, Ron Wright can do uh, engine harnesses, build them himself, and make it a little more cleaner, but uh, we found this kit online for a really decent deal, so we're just gonna we're just gonna run it for now, and when we start getting uh, faster and faster, maybe we'll start redoing some stuff. Who knows? All right, guys, well, we'll bring you back whenever we uh, get a few more things accomplished. Like a mad scientist right over here. Just setting everything out. Going through the notes. Wiring diagrams. Crazy stuff. But gotta get done. It's the next day. We didn't really do uh, an outro at Ron's place because it was kind of late. So we just wanted to pack up and get going. Um, I wanted to go over a lot of stuff that we did on the car and maybe some stuff that we are needing to do um, and then this will probably end this video. These videos are probably only going to be like five minutes long, it's just kind of of the wiring stuff. So we did mount the ECU and the IO module. Um, this is motion race works mount and then we I, we just made our own mount there um, put some bulkhead 
in the firewall that's a, there are through uh, bulkhead so you get one on the side and one on the other and we started to put a single bulkhead not a through it's just one sided right there um, then we ended up breaking the uh, thread setter tool so we're uh, still need to do that Um, we did some fuel line uh, cleaning up, and it's not done yet. As you can see, like that little crossover, I don't like. But we did put uh, our flex fuel mount from Motion Raceworks on the underneath. We do need to get two eight in a female side for the hose to finish that. Um, I did have a locked up caliper, it was, being, it was really hard to turn this wheel so we replaced that while we had the lift. That's about, that's about it on the, I think working on it side. We did a lot of uh, looking at wiring diagrams, setting stuff up correctly, um, plugging and stuff like into the tune, inputs and outputs, uh, just being prepared, getting ready for the actual wiring part. So everything is a smooth sail. We don't have any question on if it's going to work or not, and it'll be really good to go. Uh, we did decide that we were going to actually make our windows work, our door locks, and our mirrors. Um, and we are going to use the factory switches and go through the factory uh, wiring harness, but have our own relays and whatnot to get it to work correctly. So that's going to be it for this video. Uh, if you like this video or you want to see the progress on the two valve, hit that subscribe button. So till next time guys, we'll see you later.